Aloha Hawaii, I'm Wendy Loa and I'm your friend as we journey to take your health back. We are coming to you live from downtown Honolulu from the studios of Think Tech Hawaii. Today our topic of discussion will be on providing access to patients who need medical attention at a convenient location. And what I would really like you to take away from today's discussion is that early intervention and access to health care can reduce complications of many different illnesses. We all know that, right? Prevention and awareness are your keys to greater health. So today we are very honored to welcome a very busy and very dear friend, Dr. Alan Wu, who is the co-founder and the medical director of Doctors of Waikiki. Welcome, Alan or Dr. Wu. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you for having me on the program. Yes, I'm so excited. Um, when I stopped in to visit with you, well, actually when we did your blessing in December of your beautiful clinic, I was quite impressed. Thank you. Yes, and then um, I had a friend, and she was telling me urgent care is really hard to find in Waikiki, and she knew about one, but it was quite a far distance from where she lived at the other end of Waikiki. And I said, well, then you got to go visit my friend. Alan Wu has doctors of Waikiki and it's in the Princess Kailani Hotel and she says no Wendy that's been closed for a long time and I said no we just blessed it a few months ago yeah. and um, I think he's still there so let's go visit and that we did we popped into Alan's clinic and he had just had a big rush and he had a moment's time to take a breath and um, he was you were very kind to show us everything about your clinic but before we jump into your clinic Tell us a little bit about Alan Wu. Yeah, well, um, thanks, Wendy, for, you know, first of all, inviting me to this show. Um, you know, I myself, like many others in Hawaii, are first-generation immigrants or children of immigrants who came, migrated to Hawaii, immigrated, and um, we wanted to, you know, live the American dream. And I grew up just a plain old local boy, went to Pro City High School, um, you know, got my uh, medical degree at John Burns um, University here. Um, and then, um, then I went, went away and did my training at uh, Walter Reed in D.C. Um, it's, it was all because I had a full scholarship during med medical school. Wow. And, uh, you and must then. be really smart, Alan. <laughs> I knew you were when I met you. Thank you. No, um, we, we've been great friends for 20 plus years, right? Yes. Um, and um, did, did a really long career. Um, I was in D.C. for many years. And then um, I got a chance to deploy uh, um, with the Army and took care of our soldiers, our, um, our brothers and sisters in the front line of Afghanistan. Um, wow. You know, got to come back and I was um, actually assistant clinic chief at Tripler uh, inter internal med and got then got selected as a um, uh, brigade flight surgeon went to flight surgery school after that um, and was uh, head of uh, flight surgery at um, Schofield Barracks wow. uh, where we also uh, reestablished the initiative to bring back the Blackhawk to land at Queens uh, Medical Center for traumas Wow um, so that that was really really fun. And job. exciting. Yes. Very exciting. Wow. And the most rewarding job I ever had. Wow. And then uh, you were telling me a little bit while you were doing your flight training or an uh, active duty, actually, you got a very high honor. And I want you to not show off. I want you to share with others because uh, I'm so proud of you for being you. the recipient of this honor. Yeah. So um, I, I was um, deployed in the years of um, 2010, 2011. And um, during that time, I was in Afghanistan um, at a very um, um, hostile um, environment where I was in, um, basically an uh, emergency replacement doctor for one of our other fallen doctors that really got hurt six hours into country mm. due to um, how intensified that, that um, war was there. Um, and then I was able to survive. Um, I actually got to sign um, about 7,000 charts in one year. Wow. Um, and um, So you were um, just thrown in there, I and was then just you <laughs> just went to battle. That's right. Right? So, uh, we, we, uh, we were the point of injury care docs. So our, our team um, um, has took care of multiple traumas and multiple care 
as well as taking care of our soldiers, making sure that they continue to um, be healthy while in, in combat and making sure that they um, were safe um, and keeping up with their exercise, mm -hmm. you know, uh, making sure that preventive health is also um, there. Um, all type of uh, medical realm that I had never thought I would be a part of, but I wow. did. And uh, at the end, uh, I was very honored to receive a bronze medal from General Campbell at that time. And yes. I got a bronze wow. medal. So thank that. you so much thank you. for your 15 years yes. of serving our country faithfully and just doing the best that you were trained to do yes. and went beyond the call. I mean, going in and being thrown into a hot zone as you were and responding and, re you know, just stepping into action. And that's why they knew you were so deserving <laughs> of that honor. You know, and I knew when I met you in 1999, I believe, That's right. and we were working for a Buddhist organization, yeah. and we were just doing good things for the people who needed help. And uh, first on the scene, last to leave was our kind of our model, yeah. and we did so much back in the day, yes. and we had so much fun. And yes. I knew you had an aspiring <laughs> career, and I didn't realize how great you would be turning out. Thank and you. I'm so proud of you as Auntie Wendy <laughs> to, to just Thank be you, connected Wendy. with you again. Yes. So now let's get back into um, when you were serving and you really wanted the, your officers, your soldiers to think about wellness and preparedness. So exercise men a lot, mm -hmm. eating the proper diet. And so you were, whether you wanted to or not, or you're trained to or not, it became part of your mantra and your practice. That's right. And that's what you continue to do today. So now you have opened Doctors in Waikiki. Yes. And... Um, so the first slide I want to just share with everybody is yeah. one of that of your examination rooms. That's correct. And so when I came that night, you sh took me on this tour. I was so impressed with even the quality of the floor. Yes. The floor was just beautiful selection and immaculate. Everything about your clinic was just yeah. top notch. And so tell us a little bit about your heart behind what you have sure. just created. Actually, this, this is probably the third clinic I built in my life or design mm -hmm. in, um, we, uh, the first one was um, in Afghanistan. The second one was um, uh, completed um, uh, production and building in 2017 at Wheeler Army Airfield. Um, you know, we built a brand new clinic for the aviation troops out there because I was their um, brigade surgeon. Um, and this is my, my most recent um, clinic that we, we helped design. We wanted to make sure that uh, one, access to care is important. Even back in the war zone, I extended our, our what we call sick call um, and access to medical care from morning to night. And, um, you know, if we, I can do it in a hostile environment, why can't I do that for the people of Hawaii? Exactly. And why can't we do that in Waikiki where there's a lot of traffic, right. a lot of density, and, you know, most people don't realize um, the density, especially of the elderly in Waikiki, is actually pretty significant. Very significant. We're talking about 20,000 residents yes. on that little strip yes. of um, land that we call Waikiki. Yes. Um, and that mixed in with the tourists. I mean, we're, we're talking about 70,000, 80,000 people walking through Waikiki a day. Right. And, uh, and not to mention all us local surfers yes. that frequent the beach and we yeah. get hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, we get sick, we get hurt while yeah. we're on the beach. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so instead of just waiting, yeah. you know, now we can just cross the street and there you are. And yes. your arms are open and you're yeah. welcome to take us in yeah. and, and just give us that quality of care That's that right. we're so used to on yeah. a daily basis. A, a, a lot of times, and, and we're open seven days a week, including holidays from right. 8 a.m. to um, midnight. midnight. <laughs> and we... Even for people, who, the local people, the tourists who are in Waikiki, who get lost in Waikiki. How many people get lost? We actually provide a free shuttle service to pick them up to bring it that is to our, um, our clinic and to make sure that they get early intervention. Uh, you know, the, the amount of uh, thank you notes that we receive from our travelers, from our local people um, to us. We get mail every day. Wow. Telling, telling us how, how grateful Just they are. Just an affirmation of yes, who you are and no. what you've created with your partner, Tony. Yes. Yes. And I'm so, I mean, I'm just in awe. Yeah. Okay. So the next slide will show us your reception area. Sure. So when we come through the doors and yeah. this is what we see, 
beautiful picture of Hawaii and yes. of course great colors yeah. so you make us feel very warm and welcome yeah. and even though we're not well and not feeling too good well I mean, the first thing you don't want to do is um, you know sit in a cold uh, bland place where you're not feeling well so we, we chose these colors and these warm colors and these comfortable chairs to make sure that our patients who are waiting for us mm -hmm. um, feel warm and welcome and we want to make sure that they feel comfortable mm -hmm. and it's not just oh I'm just another number so our staff are very well trained and they're 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 very kind and they go out of their way to help Right. Um, our patients who are waiting yeah i mean i walked in at like 9 30 and as i walked through the doors it was auntie wendy how are you i'm like yeah. and she maybe googled me as she saw my face i don't know how she knew me <laughs> so quickly but she recognized me and i felt warm and welcome so that Good. just was uh, the first step yes. to a great experience That's and right. here we are today just wanting this for anybody that doesn't feel as good as we are feeling right yes. now. Yes, definitely. So that's very, very critical. So the next um, slide that we have here, I see you briefing. Are they reporters? Are they your students, interns? Um, they're a mixture of, of all. Um, this is when they went through our clinic and we're just explaining to them our, um, our services, um, especially uh, to, to be accredited with all these different insurance companies to make sure that we were able to... Um, um, have, have the capacity and the availability and the technology to take care of the vast um, illnesses or injuries that come in. You know, everybody wants to take a tour. Mm -hmm. And um, because I actually been doing this for a while, so um, they, they were very happy that I actually have my own clinic now. Oh, yeah, you've so, got a great following. Your yeah. bedside manner is <laughs> so Thank in you. need and, and desire. Um, and they, they were here taking a tour, and we, we give them a breakdown of uh, how from the process of checking in to checking out mm -hmm. and th that whole patient experience um, is really important it I think is. you know making somebody comfortable when they're not feeling well I think is the most important thing that us as a medical professional can provide mm -hmm. from the front desk staff to our nursing staff to even my drivers right right yes. that's amazing i mean the next slide will show this is just your staff yes. and i was surprised and impressed that you have so many and you even hired um dr tony stark iron man yes <laughs> so that's how much you care about customer care you even went and hired iron man that's right to that's be right. one of your partners in crime yes. and i believe there's two of you medical doctors in this facility yes at any time one or two of you yes and nurse nurse practitioners yes and then we, we have other physicians um that that does um that want to provide excellent care and so they will come on part-time mm -hmm. and uh we because we, we we want to make sure that all all other our our fellow colleagues know who we are and what kind of excellent service we can provide so and there are er docs that comes in once in a while and there's other hospital stocks you know family practice stocks who want to do shifts with us and we, we welcome all that Yes. Wow, that's, you know, I think what a lot of this comes from, you know, when we volunteered with Suji, yeah. Suji is a very incredible organization that um, they have hospitals throughout Taiwan, mm -hmm. and a lot of doctors will retire early so that they can go volunteer at the Suji Hospital. Yes. Is that correct? That's and correct. either they're not getting paid or they're getting very small yes. um, stipends to support themselves. That's right. But they come in to serve the people. Yeah. And these people, the patients yeah. coming in, they don't have charges. Yeah. It's free to the people of Taiwan mm -hmm. yeah. to come in and use, have that same philosophy. So everybody wants to come and yeah. work with you yes. and just be a part of your establishment. I think a lot of it, all your training from different organizations you yeah. volunteered with yes. continues on in your heart. And so you're going to continue to draw on these hearts to come in and to support what you're doing to support the people of Hawaii. So we have the best urgent care the best care possible that's right that's so important alan i'm so proud of you thank you can Andy. you tell <laughs> <laughs> can you tell okay so the next slide and then uh you were sharing with us on the next slide there's like you have a digital lab that's right you have in-house labs you have everything in there that i was so amazed and impressed yeah. with so tell us a little bit about your labs well we can actually go on to the to the next slide where uh, we actually have the digital um, x-ray machine. We mm -hmm. have one of the most advanced uh, digital x-ray machines um, that's out there right now. 
instantaneously we can see the picture. There's no film development. Um, it pops up right on our, our, our screen. And most of the time it's inside the room so um, I can grab hold of the patient and actually show them this is what we're looking at. Wow. Okay? And then to actually to verify our read and stuff, we do send it out for the board certified uh, radiologist to mm -hmm. make sure that we didn't miss anything. Wow. And that comes back within 15, 30 minutes if wow. we want it's that. Okay. Yeah. That is so impressive. I was so impressed that we could go to your urgent care clinic and they have all these facilities That's as right. any, you know, top notch hospital yes. in our state. Yeah. And so I'm just, I'm just floored by the, the <laughs> level that you're serving our people with. But at this moment, we're going to be taking a 60-second break. Okay. And uh, we'll come right back with Alan Wu and share with you more of what he has to share with all of us. All right. Thank you. Aloha and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, inviting you to join us every Tuesday here on Pinoy Power Hawaii with Think Tech Hawaii. We come to your home at 12 noon every Tuesday. We invite you to uh, listen, watch uh, for our mission of empowerment. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. Again, maraming salamat po, mabuhay, and aloha. Hey, aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we want to teach you about those things in our industry that, you know, may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. Aloha. Here we are back at Think Tech Hawaii with Dr. Alan Wu from Doctors of Waikiki. And I'm so excited to share with you his philosophies because I knew him when he was a young lad before he became a doctor. And uh, I already knew that this young man had a great future ahead of him because he was volunteering with me side by side and producing some amazing events. And whatever he learned, whatever we experienced during that time, he carried it on as he served our country for 15 years as an in-flight medical uh, surgeon, yes, uh, surgeon doctor. And um, then he knew that he had to retire out, but he knew he needed to make sure he had a future yes. so that he could support his family and, and carry out his, his long life, uh, long love of medical uh, medical. Uh, services to support the people of Hawaii so that he can continue to express how important it is to be aware of nutrition, exercise, and wellness and prevention. And so, Alan, I'm just, just so excited and honored that you're here with us. And also, I want to mention again, a bronze medal awardee. Yeah. So yeah. thank you so much for all that you've done for our country. And before we took the break, mm -hmm. we were talking about your in-house x-ray machine. Yeah. And that, um, I want to talk a little bit more about that because that's pretty critical. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we right there on that strip, a lot of these crazies are jumping off the wall, mm -hmm. going surfing. So, you know, if sometimes if something they feel not right, yeah. they can just walk across the street and there you are. Yes. And you have state of the art. Uh, if we go back to that slide with the x-ray machines, yes. that's just very incredible. Tell us a little bit about that again. Well, was was that um, that X-ray machine? It's actually uh, low radiation. Mm -hmm. What I also want to say is, um, it's not now with newer technology. We have to keep up with technology. Where a lot of times in the big hospitals, they still have those big old yes. machine, and you're actually exposing yourself to uh, unnecessary amount of radiation. Right. And these machines now are very focused on low voltage, low ampule, so your exposure rate is also a lot less. And you know with was that new capability we can get a very clear image um, you can see all the bony structure and you, most of the time you, you just need a plain x-ray mm -hmm. to to kind of see what else is needed mm -hmm. that's your first step and we want to be able to have the capability to allow people to have access to that first step and then they will determine how much more is right. needed to be done you know if somebody's coughing for a long time you know 
you want to know if you have pneumonia, right? Mm -hmm. It's not getting better. You fail all of your doctor's um, treatment. You need an x-ray. Where, where do you go? Most people don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. You come on here, we, we, we can get that done for you. Wow. And then we can show you your images, or we can have a radiologist read it almost that same day. Wow. And I will also go through the image with um, the patient, usually within 10 seconds af after taking that x-ray. Wow. Isn't that I good? mean, I was so impressed that the machine was so little. Yeah. And, you know, you have the signs all around if you're pregnant, so it didn't bother <laughs> me. I still came in because, but, yeah. I mean, I was impressed at the, the size of that machinery yeah. to do that much yeah. intense work on us yeah and immediate amazing. results yes. 15 minutes at the least and then sending it out to get a confirmation of your diagnosis yeah. yes. so i think that's just yes. what we need right there and i know that you also have labs yes a lot of different blood work is done there yes. diagnosis of different issues or samples mm -hmm. so tell us more about your labs so if um if you can see that in our lab facility we have a lot of point of care what we call point of care testing um, point of care testing, you have to get certified to the National Laboratory Association. We do have all of these certificates, whether for radiation uh, facility for our laboratory testing. And these machines are the most advanced state-of-the-art machines. Like if you see on the picture on the right where, um, where my um, assistant is having her hand over the uh, pipettes, um, that is what we call um, a, a chemistry machine we can actually run your entire metabolic panel in 15 minutes. Huh. Um, you know, it will take a regular traditional lab, wow. um, probably four or five uh, hours. Mm -hmm. In the ER, maybe an hour. So mm -hmm. we can produce that result in 15 minutes. And if you compare the two, you get two randomized sample, um, compare it side by side, the difference, of uh, of uh, reads on your chemistry, whether sodium, potassium level, is less than one percent difference. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Right, and it it's is. on the point, it's it very is. accurate, mm -hmm. and that's why the um, the national um, um, board of um, laboratory approve of these type of machines. And we have instantaneous detection, especially if the flu is going around. Right, we have a PCR machine that can detect if you have the flu or not mm. in 15 minutes and it's a pcr machine that actually amplified dna and not just a screening tool that most doctors office have so if you're positive you're almost 99.99 percent positive mm -hmm. of the flu and if you're negative you're pretty much sure that you don't have the flu wow. we have that capability we can do much much more um you know the, the list is, is so wow. vast and you know even with just the flu I mean, so say I report to work and, you know, everyone's, I mean, half our population is employed in Waikiki. Yes. So this is a really good mm, facility mm -hmm. yes. for a lot of employers because if you come in and I'm going to question your state of health, yes. I'm going to send you right next door. Yes. You don't have to take the whole day off and go That's to the fine. doctor and come back. I want you to go there. Hey, Alan, you know, I got this employee coming in. Mm -hmm. Can you run the test? Yeah. If that person is diagnosed in that shorter time yeah. with flu, you're going home. Yeah, you're going home. Otherwise, you come back to work and let's get to work. And this is this is why it's also very important to have us there is not only for our access to care, but public health reasons. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at the data right now, um, Japan actually has a little bit more accurate data collection than, um, than us when it comes to real time because they have a more condensed um, geographic location where the U.S. is so spread out. Just in Japan alone last week, 2.5 million people in Japan has the flu. Whoa. And a lot of them are resistant to certain drugs already. Mm -hmm. So, um, and flu becomes very deadly when you have other medical complications. You know, it can lead to um, sepsis, pneumonia. So mm -hmm. early flu detection and treatment, um, it's not only beneficial for your health, but also um, a very good public health service. Wow. Yes. And we have a lot of visitors coming that, right. from that direction. Yeah. So it's, it, it, it's, and everyone's in such dense populations That's in right. the hotels or even sitting next to each other on the beaches or even swimming in the beaches. Mm -hmm. So yes, the contraction of such a, you know, issue or disease is very prevalent. And That's so right. to have early detection, especially with the weight and the, 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 the staff, yeah. the weight help yeah. and all that, it's very important. Yeah. And, and our, we, we train our weight staff 
our, our front desk staff to make sure that our patients are waiting no more than 15 minutes before they come in to see us. Um, that's kind of a rule of thumb for us. Very good. We, we just want to bring them in, get them checked in, mm -hmm. and start our process of diagnosis right. and treatment really quick. Wow. Yeah. And so if they're not with the flu, then they can go back and enjoy That's our right. sunshine and all that Hawaiian That's vacation right. they came for. Another thing that impressed me, Ellen, is that you have an in-house pharmacy. That's right. Okay, and on the next slide, we'll see that we, we can visit your little pharmacy there. Yeah. And tell us about that. Um, so we have approval from um, also um, the Department of Health with our narcotics and all, all of those those regulation we have met. So we're certified to be a dispensary of uh, medication. We're not a, a true pharmacy because we don't take insurance for that part. But a lot of times people who are in um, in Waikiki, there's, there's no pharmacy left, right? So, um, I mean, I, I don't wanna give, give it away, but we're, we're kind of, a lot of times the medication are at cost. Mm -hmm. So that way, you know, people can just pay for the right. med. And we're not talking about a lot of money. You know, people think, um, I, I don't want to say pharmacy names, but let's say my antibiotic, um, if you have a urinary tract infection and things like that, our antibiotic are as low as like $16 only. Mm, mm. And it's all packaged, controlled, sealed, uh, labeled, with lot number expiration, um, national drug control numbers, everything's mm -hmm. written on it prepackaged from the pharmaceutical company wow. and then we just kind of dispense it out wow. so that way they don't have to spend all that time hopping into a taxi right. driving to a pharmacy right. at the middle of the night because right. sometimes there's no pharmacy at six and, and, after 6 p.m <laughs> and that issue you just brought up uti i mean when you got that i know you got to get help immediately yes. and you want as much relief as possible That's as right. quick as possible uh -huh. And, you know, of course, mm -hmm. when you're traveling, especially coming to a warm climate, yeah. it's very prevalent as yeah. well. And then they're not drinking as much water and all the yeah. right things they should mm -hmm. be doing. So, yeah. yes, you hit it right on the nail. And that's a very great example, Alan. That's right. Yes. Okay. And so the next thing is also impressive to me, especially because when I go to get blood taken or blood drawn, they have a hard time finding the veins. And so yeah. what is this little tool that you have here? So <laughs> we, we have an infrared um, vein finder um, in our clinic. Um, especially if you see in this, this slide, uh, we have a very um, uh, thin um, Asian female who comes in, she's, you know, we can't find her veins. You don't want to go to the doctor's office and try to get blood drawn and <laughs> they, they stick you 20, 30 times. Yeah, and we they call that the pin cushion, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So this way it helps the nursing staff um, and uh, medical assistants find your vein very quickly. And because we also start IVs in our urgent care clinic, um, that this makes it easier right. and less painful. Right. And making the experience more pleasant. More pleasant. So yes. that's, uh, again, yes. brilliance. So uh, now we come to this beautiful vehicle yes. that will pick up patients within Waikiki. Yes. And um, you, they make a call, and this lovely Tesla yes. will go and pick you up. Mm -hmm. And the wings open, you pop in and go yeah. straight to your clinic. Tell That's us right. about this. Um, so we, we provide this free, absolutely free transport system um, in Waikiki. Um, we want to limit it to Waikiki because uh, or else the car will be out too far. And you know how Honolulu traffic yes. is, it's, right. it's hard. But <laughs> Waikiki itself, it's like a maze. Mm -hmm. People could know, we're, we're located at the Princess Kaolani Hotel. Right. People know where it is, but sometimes they don't know how to get, how there. To get there. Right, exactly. Um, and having this transport and save you on parking, right? Right, everything um, is a bonus and you get luxury all the way. Yes, so. and we, we wanna make sure that you're not feeling good. You're already calling us to come right. pick you up. You know, let's let's make your, your travel experience um, pleasant also. You, Alan, so. I told you, you think of everything our time is running out soon, but before okay. we end, I know that I want to make sure we announce yes. for this month, you are yeah. running a little public service. That's right. So for this month in our clinic, we actually are offering for all Hawaii residents uh, free blood pressure, free um, diabetes screening at our clinic. All you have to do is bring your ID, 
Your Hawaii driver's license, that's right. Hawaii ID. ID. So all Hawaii residents are, are, are privileged to this. That's right. And there's no cost at all. And there's nothing to fill out. You just come come in. You just tell the front desk you're here for the screening. Wow. And then um, my staff would take you to the back. We would do your blood sugar check. We would take your, your blood pressure. And um, and it's and we're, we're right there for a free consultation if you have any questions. I mean, that too. is touche, and, top of notch, yeah. because... That right there um, is exactly what we believe in, prevention. Right. Knowing in advance, before the symptoms come on, you already can detect, hey, you know, you got to be careful of this. Your numbers are here. Let's work on it. That's right. So, Alan, I tell you, yeah. I, again, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so what much. What you have created, what you're going to continue to create for the people of Hawaii with prevention and education and top-notch facility. Congratulations on delivering this to us. We so needed it. And um, praying that maybe one day you open another clinic outside of Waikiki as well. But thank you so much and for taking your time. And thank you for no emergencies during this 30 minutes. <laughs> so I appreciate you and just thank you. Continue your great work, Alan. Thank you so much for yes. having me on the show. Thank you. And aloha, everybody. Bye. Thank you.